What's good, guys? This story came out on May the 12th. It's coming via People Magazine, and I want to thank Marie722 for sending it to me. Florida man charged with murder after authorities find human remains buried on his property. That's a picture of the man who owns the property where the human remains were found, Johnny Edwards Malisham. A Florida man was arrested Sunday after authorities found human remains on his property. Johnny Edwards Malisham, 60, is facing homicide charges after the Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office received a tip that a body was buried at his address, according to a press release. Shortly after receiving the tip, detectives were able to locate the unidentified human remains. Quote, investigators discovered sufficient evidence and probable cause to obtain a warrant for the arrest of Malisham on homicide charges, end quote, the sheriff's office wrote. Authorities are working to identify the remains officially. However, an arrest report obtained by WEAR says that the tipster identified the victim as 60-year-old Cynthia Hoover, who had been missing in Milton, Florida, since March the 8th. The tip came from a woman who said she has known Malisham for 15 years, and he tried to get her to help him hide Hoover's body, WEAR reports. The arrest report says the woman told police Malisham allegedly killed Hoover with a hatchet in March, cracking open her skull. The woman also said Malisham allegedly threatened her if she refused to help, according to the news station. The Butler County Sheriff's Office in Alabama then relayed the information to the Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office. Malisham previously served 12 years in prison in Alabama for a manslaughter conviction, the Florida State Attorney's Office told WEAR. Quote, part of our analysis is in their poor prior record, Assistant State Attorney John Mokon, Molchon said. Certainly anybody with a prior of that magnitude, we will certainly take and vigorously prosecute that individual. We would do that with anybody under the circumstances, end quote. The state attorney's office for the First Judicial Circuit of Florida did not immediately respond to people's requests for comment. Malisham is being held without bond in Santa Rosa County Jail, court records show. In addition to one count of murder, Malisham also faces a charge of possession of a weapon by a convicted felon. An attorney for Malisham could not be identified to comment on his behalf. It's unclear if he has entered a plea at this time. So, they didn't specifically say it, but it sounds like this informant or the person that relayed the information was actually in Alabama. And then the Alabama authorities contacted the Santa Rosa County uh, Sheriff's Office to let them know. They went right to the spot, found the human remains, and... Uh, yeah, that's going to be a hard case to um, get out of, just in my personal opinion. So, um, uh, not get out of, but defend, rather, is what I should have said. Um, and he also has a prior where he served 12 years in prison for manslaughter. So, yeah, that would be a very hard case to defend as a defense counsel. I'm going to end the story on that note, but I definitely want to bring that to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys.